Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to welcome everybody to walk in Wednesday open mic night. Let's give the TCA some love for supporting live music right here. Great state of Arizona. It's a pleasure to be here each and every week. And it's good to see all of you. I want to thank you all for your support. It's because of you folks that all of this is, is happening. All of you singer songwriters and poets and everything that uh, get a chance to come up on stage and just share a part of your creative heart, your creativity uh, each week. And it's uh, it's grown into a very special place. It's almost like our, uh, our middle of the week, coming home for dinner kind of feeling. So I certainly appreciate it. This event, uh, 15 years right here, folks, 15 years. Who would know? So, so we, we, we got together and with everybody's help, we put together this little outline of an evening. Uh, we get a chance to uh, share from some of our council members and uh, some of the other folks that are behind the scenes here. And uh, the person who originated the whole idea and then got me on, bo uh, on board. And so it's, it's, we're gonna be able to share a lot of that. And then the other part is we're gonna feature the artists that were here in the beginning, 15 years ago, when some of them were still in grade school and some of them were in high school. And uh, we, we, uh, we watched them grow and now they're out in the community. Some are failing college, but that's a whole other story. <laughs> But they're still out there serving in the community too, just as well. So it's all good, and and it's a pleasure to uh, to be here and uh, be your host. And so uh, I have a good friend of mine sitting here with me in a, in a really nice red jacket. <laughs> I think she's part of the Tuskegee Airmen. <laughs> the, the red jacket. <laughs> But, uh, and, and the tennis, tennis shoes are working really well as well. Hey folks, give her some love. Darlene Garland, councilwoman, right here. Just to the next one. Thank you. Um, I just want to welcome everybody also. You know, this is, this is 15 years, and this is the longest running um, open mic program in the Valley. And I'm just talking to all, I know, pretty amazing. here and be a part of your show and he goes this isn't my show this is like TCA's this is everybody else's show and that I'm just thinking in my head and I'm sure you guys think this also if it wasn't for him this may not have lasted for 15 years it's it's because of the legend that we have sitting right now. So as well know that Rockland Music is a great program that gives musicians a chance to play their songs in a friendly attentive atmosphere that is inclusive and, uh, inclusive and authentic and really supportive. I love the fact that you guys support each other so well. Um, and the other open mics that I've been to, it's just been a joyous, wonderful, comfortable place to be. And, and it's really nice because we are able to make this community space so that everybody can share their music, their art, um, and their talents here with you. Um, you know, we know that live music is a part of Tempe's history and its identity. We all know that it's been a while. Um, and our shared experiences of music and live music in the city of Tempe help us connect to each other in a better way that's a more meaningful way. And we can all remember what band we heard when we were listening to them at Long Longs or some other place here in Tempe and listening to music. And we all have those memories that we have shared together. And this is just another extension of that also. And we know that the, the music and the live music in, our, in Tempe, it, it, it's creative and it, it captures and it's a heartbeat of who we are. And it's so nice because the group that's here, and I know there's other people that have come to other open mics that have said the same thing, that this is really who, Tempe, who the city of Tempe is. And being here is allowing us to be able to share that again. 15 years of the walk in Wednesdays have been amazing. And the heart of its success is Walt Richardson. <laughs> put their name down and, and get the you know, the support from him to get up and stand in front of everybody and perform. And I think that's a beautiful thing that you share with all of us. I just want to say thank you so much. So I am looking forward to the performances that we have this evening and the information and shared history that we're going to be able to hear from um, different um, people from our community. So I'm going to turn it over to you and I think we should get started. I'm ready for the music. And so uh, when we started out, uh, I, and, and Don will be able to give you a little bit more, we were in, uh, 
were out on the patio and uh, we had a few players and then we eventually were inside the patio. And there are folks that came out on that night that are here today on this stage. It's so beautiful to watch people grow and especially through the arts. It's wonderful to see how the human being when in the right environment can become such a beautiful creature even, even if it just shines for 15, 20 minutes on stage, that's enough to make a person's entire week. Because in that moment of when they're shining, everyone else that is observing is shining too because they're feeling it because we have these wonderful things inside of us called mirror neurons and we get a chance to see and feel exactly what we're observing, which uh, makes it wonderful when you see the winning team win, and kind of a bummer when the, you know, the championship team loses, which, you know, that's the way it rolls, you know. So on this stage coming up right now is an example of that.